going on. Hello everyone, how you doing? Let's turn that down, just sorting. Hello, Stefano, how are you doing, mate? Hello, Grim Reaper. Hello, Pete. I know I've already said that, but I thought I'd say it with my own voice. Oh, good, good, good. And hello, Classics. Right, anyone else want to join in? So I'm still adjusting. <laughs> Future Night. Oh, I, I, I didn't really get into that game. Couldn't really get into it. Right, I think it's just us three for now. Unless anyone else wants to join in. Is Pete still here? Let's just play just us three for now. Theme song, check. Schmitty, check. Players. All right, good group. Now remember, if Gandhi were alive, this is exactly what he would be doing right now. Time for round one. You'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer, and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. First one. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> and next is. Hello, DVD. How you doing? It's voting time. Good, good. Next in line. Oh, I'll wow, be The real reason the dinosaurs died. Vote on your devices. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Ooh, take the lead. 
time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Take a look. The first prompt is USA, USA. America is still number one in. Okay, everyone, favorite. <laughs> okay, next one. The worst song to play when stripping for your lover. Time to vote. Oh, uh, Andreas, how you doing? What the fuck are you watching? You're watching Quick Clash. Coming up next, the first commandment in the new religion you started. Vote on your devices. Never seen it before. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. Ooh. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. The last lash prompt is. Oh, fuck. Time to take a look. Okay, in this round, you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Grim Reaper, that's the way it goes. You know, I can't expect everyone to come on it this time. You know, this thing about if people can come and go as they please. Well, the thing is, I don't, <coughs> I don't have a set time when I start. It's when I'm basically ready. I start, but you know, I always finish about ten. By then, I'm knackered. <laughs> That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Yeah, about ten o'clock. I always finish about. Well, it used to be half past ten, but I was getting so tired, so I just. 
finish about 10 o'clock now. Yeah, that's another reason I ain't got no beard left. <laughs> Hang on, ooh, did I, I did, yeah, I won it. I didn't even fucking notice. Right, okay. Right, okay. Come on, what the fuck's it taking so long? Is it my internet or is it a fucking server? Yeah, got there before class extended. <laughs> right, so we got three. Are we going to get more? All right, we got James in. Anyone else want to join? So we only play this up to half past six ish because I don't do things on time. It's always about the itch. And we're play some games, retro games, till eight o'clock. I think everyone knows the drill. And we do the quiz night from 8 till 10. Right, I think that's everyone. Anyone else? <coughs> oh, I always say that just because there's always new people here. And Andreas, how you doing? Right, okay. Anyone else? Start again. Five of us, that's a good number. Hi there, I'm Schmitty, and I truly hope that you all consider me to be an acquaintance. Okay, folks, welcome to your worst nightmare. Okay, mate. But in a good way. This is round one. Thanks for coming on. I'll see, I'll see you soon. People who prefer your answer. Have at it. This show. First up, the old English term for vagina. <laughs> okay, pick your favorite. Yeah, there is a bit of a hole. <laughs> thing to do while driving it's voting time term for an erection. Vote on your devices. <laughs> it's buffering. Anyone else suffering buffering? Mm -hmm. 
drink the wine from where I'm sitting. Next in line, a great thing to yell before jumping out of an airplane. Time to vote. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, Classics takes the lead. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Ooh, he's in. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, the best question to ask God when you meet him. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, an inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. It's voting time. <laughs> that was from airplane, wasn't it? <laughs> Next up, name your new hair cutting establishment. Time to vote. <laughs> it's good, Stefan. I would watch it. If you like silly comedy, like Naked Gun, I would definitely give the airplane one and two a watch. They're both good. Okay, next one. A surprising job entry on Abraham Lincoln's resume. Vote on your devices. <laughs> yeah, DVD is a classic. I, I liked it. I liked them both. Yeah, it's a spoof of the... Hello, Texie. It's a spoof of the airport films, basically. And next is... A more environment-friendly alternative to toilet paper. It's voting time. Yeah, I thought they were both good films. I actually saw the second one before I saw the first one back in the day. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. Oh, Stefano takes the lead. 
This is round three, the last lap. Yeah. <laughs> One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... The worst Leslie Nielsen was in the first airplane. Creep show. I've not seen it. Oh, seen top secret. I didn't like that as much. For the final scores. Well done, Stefano. Right, do I reset the players? Just in case anyone else wants to come on. Oh, I hate this, it's so slow at the moment. Fucking hell, classics got in there before me. Don't start it yet, I'll be right back. Okay, classic start when you're ready, mate. <laughs> uh, I didn't put my message out. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, okay, Stefano. Wait on to Stefano then. But we all need to tell. I took a piss. Stefano still thinks 
Let's all take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Naked gum, wasn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Stefano's back. In your own time, classics. <coughs> Don't think no one else is coming on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Schmitty Schmidstenstein, your court ordered host of Quiplash. Glad to see you guys don't have anything better going on. Let's do this. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Ooh, we just made it. Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is rename any famous work of literature so that it is ruined by the word but. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Next, a business or service that shouldn't have a drive through window. Time to vote. <laughs> I've said that. <laughs> Next one, really awful cheerleaders would yell blank. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. A terrible wedding gift. It's voting time. <laughs> and next is the best way to scare a burglar. Time to vote. <laughs> Nah, I can't continue without Leslie Nielsen. Can't do. They can't. Yeah. 
Oh, it's definitely in the lead. It's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much. Yeah, I've got them on DVD. I don't really see the point of getting the Blu-ray releases. Let's take a look. First up, something you don't want to find in your Christmas stocking. Okay, pick your favorite. Yeah, I agree with your classics there. They didn't have nothing else. That was funny. That's why they ripped off a lot of out try and remake our comedy. And it was all shit. Even their other comedies were shit, like friends and stuff. Next up. Where's the best place to hide from the shadow monsters? Once. Vote on your devices. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, South Park. Family guy, I should say, but I don't know, they're animated, so. Yeah, they're still good. Yeah, I, I admit it. They're good. They're animated though. They don't matter. Next in line. It's voting time. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with things being cut. I just think they're stupid. Just so they can sell more. <laughs> and next, what Chewbacca has really been yelling all these years. Time to vote. A curse word. Hold <laughs> on your devices. <laughs> Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. Oh, Stefano still in the lead. <coughs> Excuse me. This is round three, the last <coughs> flash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Our prompt is... 
the worst pizza is blank style pizza. Here's what you did. Vote with your votes now. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. Right. I'll restart the game. We'll have one more game. And well done, Stefano. Come on, connect you bastard. Why does mine take so long? Yeah, got it. Well, that's four of us. Anyone else? Okay. What's that? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's just just us four then. Welcome to Quiplash. Population, you guys. Just once can I pop up on Tom Hanks TV? Well, you'll do. Let's go. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Let's start this show. First one, a bad way to remove unsightly chest hair. 
Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> advised outfit to wear to your first day at a new job it's voting time <laughs> next one the least popular item in the Victoria's Secret catalog Time to vote. Okay, next one. The best way to tell if someone is dead. Vote on your devices. In the books, let's see the scores. And classic Sam James are in the lead. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling <coughs> all the point values. You heard me. Take a look. Starting things off, a rejected tagline for Star Trek instead of space, the final frontier was space blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Oh, what you got an order? to think about during mediocre sex. It's voting time. <laughs> version of Hooters. Time to vote. Yeah. <laughs> 
last one. The one thing that isn't better dipped in chocolate. Vote on your devices. <laughs> the end of round two let's see what happened tell you what we'll have one more go after this it's only 20 past <laughs> and now round three the last lash point values are tripled and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time your last lash prompt is Soak it in. Give out your votes now. One more game after this. Just one more game. It's only four of us, it won't take that long. See the final scoreboard. Ooh, it's gonna be out of oh it's a draw. <laughs> Classics and James, it's a draw. Right, last game. Okay, I'm Schmitty and you are about to play Quiplash. Look at you. Our whole lives have been leading up to this moment. Don't ruin it. Time for round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! In the audience. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. The first prompt is an alternate name for the Mona Lisa. Okay, pick your favorite.
Oh, in the audience. And next is a great brand name for extra, extra large condoms. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> And next, a great name to have and a fake ID. Time to vote. <laughs> North and South, yeah. All right, I can do that. Be the first game. Okay, we can do that. I used to have it back in the day, so. Next in line, little known fact, a secret area in the White House is the blank room. <laughs> That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, yes. Good start. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Even spread it. Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is something that absolutely doesn't make you think of a penis on some level. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next up, a terrible name for a funeral parlor. Vote on your devices. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, next one. 
The worst invention that starts with spray on. Time to vote. <laughs> What are you doing? The 6077th layer of hell is reserved for blank. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> Someone don't like the Tories. <laughs> oh, what's your review, uh, Rachel? Bloody funny. Bloody funny. I hope you do more. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. Lost it, and Stefano takes the lead. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled, and everyone gets the same one single prompt All this right. time. This'll be the last round. Our last lash prompt is. Highlander, how are you doing, mate? wins. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. And Stefano yeah. takes it as free tonight. Well done, Stefano. Okay. Well done, everyone.
game everyone, good game, and so how's everyone? Let's have a little bit of a chat before, about a minute, just calm down a bit. <laughs> I will be playing North and South, that'll be the first game tonight, requested by Grim Reaper. this player now, you don't need to see my ugly face. Right, let's get it out. I meant the emulator that is. You nearly forgot. <laughs> we nearly forgot. <coughs> right, I know this works on the Amiga 500. North and South, here we go. One player, also we're going to be the north side, we can turn all this on for additional, but we won't do that. What's that do? We'll switch all this off. Uh, oh, that's two player mode, isn't it? This is a good game, this. Sort of like a strategy type game. Oh, so I need to move that. Obviously the aim of the game is to take over the southern borders. Kabuka. I can't, I've forgotten how to do this now. What I do I have to use a joystick? I've forgotten how to do this. I can now such a long time ago since I played it, I've forgotten how to play it. But I have to use key joystick. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I've forgotten what to do. Does anyone remember before I make my first move and never move? I thought I had to use the mouse to guide it, but obviously I can't. Bastard. Can I use the joystick on this? Yeah. Okay, now this seems quite fast. This ain't right, it's too fast. Yeah, that's too far. Something's not right with this. Ah, oh, looks like I'm gonna die. I don't. Oh, it's joystick. Bloody hell! I'm running out. Fuck's sake. Ah, bad at this game. 
Yeah, you got use joystick, you do. And I've lost. Yes, it's too fast. I think I've got the. I think I've got it on an accelerated an Amiga 500. <laughs> Didn't play that fast on my real Amiga 500 back in the day. Oh well. Yeah. I mean, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. It's a good game. I mean, you can even watch the computer play if you want. Hello, right, Mark Blaster. I think you can do that. Yeah, you can. You can have two computers playing if you wanted to. Uh, okay, I, it's good, but I can't play it. It's quite unplayable when it's that fast. But let's, let's try again. Then. Try one more go. Try again. Why can't I play? Uh oh. Split splatter house on the Mega Drive, yeah? Oh, hang on, hang on. Got Green Beret. That was first. Right, can someone make a list, please? <laughs> hang on, what happened there? I thought we were supposed to. How come that didn't. I don't know what's going on. Hey? Did I turn that feature off? What's going to happen? Who's going to win? They did, bastards. Right, so we got Green Beret on the Amiga and then Splatter House on the Mega Drive. Hang on. Hello, Kabuga. Jack hasn't arrived yet. I don't know, Jack. Jack who? <laughs> right, let's play Green Beret. Right, Green Beret, then we'll play. Can, uh, as we got the meager open anyway, Green Beret. I don't even got it. I don't even think I've got Green Beret. Right, hang on, hang on, what's going on? Green... No, I don't have Green Beret on the Amiga. Or is it under the? Nope. Nope, the only thing that's green is Green 5. Greens. They're the only two games I've got with green. And it ain't under the, so I don't have it. Sorry about that. Unless it's called something else. Oh, Jack Aken. Yeah, sorry, I was miles away. Right, yeah, there's no green beret on the Amiga. Who, who requested it? I can't remember. That was Andreas. No, it's not. Well, if there is, I haven't got it. I don't have that one. Right, so it's... Yeah, the only green I've got is green 5 or greens. That's all the, the green games I've got. Right, so it's not on the Amiga. So let's go to... Splatter House on the Mega Drive. Let's see if I got that. 
<laughs> right, okay. Splatterhouse 2, hang on a minute. Right, I've got Splatterhouse 3 and Splatterhouse 2. Right, hang on, All right, Splatterhouse. Um, right, I've only got Splatterhouse 2 and Splatterhouse Part 3 for some reason. Did Splatterhouse come out on the Mega Drive? This ain't starting very well. <laughs> Hello, closed channel, how you doing, mate? Tell you what, let's just go for Splatterhouse 2. I know I've reviewed it on something. Yeah, Splatterhouse 2 and 3. So I've only got those two and three. Why is Splatterhouse come out? I think it was on the Mega Drive, wasn't it? Not the Mega Drive, the Master System. Was it the Master or was it saying I can't bloody remember. I think I've reviewed it on something. Alright, game normal. Alright, okay. So, boom. Did I try finding that last time? Did I try playing that last time? I didn't have donkey dicks, whatever it's called. PC engine, okay. Yeah, that's what I reviewed it on. It was a PC engine, wasn't it? PC engine. Not the master system. I think this one was better anyway. Right, they're backgrounds. Work out the buttons. That's punch. That's bit of a suspicion. If I find out you're Jack Hack and Kabuka, oh fucking hell. Dunk, right, I'll play that one first. The way you can you play is exactly the same way. Ace, can I play it? Start when Ali did. I just noticed the pattern there. I wouldn't put it past Jack Hacken. Because it's funny, because I weren't the only one to mention that either. But I'm not going to give out any names, and it ain't no one in this stream. Europe. Oh, I can try that. I'm going to do a quiz night.
<laughs> well, if it's not, then I apologise, but it's just the way you come up. Okay, it's just always the same pattern. I've noticed it's a pattern. It's always the same way, same wording. Right, okay. So uh, I think that one was better than the first one actually, right. Right, Grand Parrot. Oh, it was on the Commodore 64, wasn't it? Yeah, anyway. Right, anyway, what's next? What was next? It was that Amiga one, wasn't it? Right, was it called? What was that Green Beret game called? Millionaire on the SNES, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have I got it? Don. No, I don't have it. I think we looked at that one before, but I don't have it. Nope, so we can't play that. Because I don't have it. I think we did try looking before for that. Nope, don't have it. So, what's after? Can't play that, because I don't have it. Did it come out on any other system? I know um, Green Beret was out on the Commodore 64 because I played it. Bomber Raid on the Master System. Is there anything else before that? Right, Bomber Raid by... What's his name? Yeah, we do have that one. Thank fuck we have something. Alright, we'll try that one. Are you looking for good or sh Whatever, whatever. Alright, why ain't the fucking thing working? Because I've got a push start button. Alright. What's going on with these controls? Oh, because it's on demo mode. Okay. There's a shoot em up game. That's one plays okay. This one looks pretty good actually. An ad popped up scaring the shit out of you. What was that? Green Beret on the Commodore 64 and the Commodore 16, right, so I'm going to pay attention now, it's paying attention to the, to the, to the chat. Can you do me a favour, it was you close channel that remind, that told me about the quiz game, can you remind me at that quiz time, we'll give that one, we'll play that one first at 8 o'clock, so that'd be interesting, if I've got it that is, should have it, don't see why not, but then again, then again, 
don't know <laughs> why this stream's been going. Europe, right, remind me. It's rubbish, all right. Well, we'll still try it, we'll still try it. You know, sometimes the basic games are, you know, it's a quiz game, so it doesn't have to be brilliant, does it? As long as it, as long as it, it's got decent questions. <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you take do you take requests, Rachel? Now Rachel's started to do gaming reviews. <laughs> ah fuck it. Yeah, that one's a good one, that. That's a good one. Yeah, well, I've said it's a good one. Yeah, so I must be enjoying it. <laughs> right, so what's next? It's Green Beret on the Commodore 64, isn't it? All right, let's check that one out. Then it's the Commodore 16 version. On the ST, I played. I played the Amiga version. I didn't mind the 1943. I can only do. Okay, okay, okay. That's not a problem. Right. I know. I must have this. I. Well, I have got it. Green Beret T64 file. That will load up pretty quick. Okay. Is this the game that was Bullsard? Oh, I've got that Azo for all. Because, um, well, I don't know. Yeah, I do use Azo drivers. Or ASIO drivers, as it, as it is. Oh, it's Jack. Hello, Jack. Mr. Piss Takers here. Right, okay. Ah, oh, this is the fucking game that was Bullseyes. I remember this. It's all I'm up. Yeah, you know damn well, I'm not going to get into it. Fuck it now. This, I told you this was an odd game. Oh sorry, oh, oh you delete, oh, I don't know, um, sometimes it was a music advert that scared me, sorry. In some of your company of messages I delete, you deleted. What, what music scared you? Alright, sorry, I'm probably missing half the chat here. Yeah, it sounds like I did not like this game. Way too difficult. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake.
Hello Jason, how you doing mate? Right, I'm going to try the Commodore 16 version now. Because that, I did not like that. I played before, I hated it. It's too fucking hard. Right, where is the Commodore 16? Plus four, right. Why is that small? There we go, found it. Green Beret. Why has it got two... Oh, it's a disc file. <laughs> I am not going to play the Commodore 64 version of that again. Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, Jason. Stab to start. Right, I'm pushing stab to start. Why not working? Oh, my goodness. And... Um, Control joystick's not working. Right, do I have to swap the ports? Right, how do I swap the ports over? Right, settings, joystick settings. So how do I, joystick settings? Right, okay, I think that's gonna work. Oh my god, this is shit. Why can't... Yeah, that's shit. That is utter shit. Oh my god, what's going on now? Makes you want to bug. <laughs> I never ever played on a Commodore 16 back in the day. Uh, played on a VIC-20, played on a Commodore 64. Yeah, I'm not missing nothing but the Commodore 16. Oh, what's the matter with Jack? Oh, is there a fight brewing out? Oh, God, what's going on? Right, my own gone. Jack, that Jack arsehole is bothering me. Turn the fuck off, John. Oh, God. What's going on? Where has it all started? Cook up what? What do you want to do? What the fuck? I don't know what started that off. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what's the next game? Fifty cuffs. What's that on? <laughs> oh, fifty cuffs. Ah, uh, it's not a game, is it? Uh, anyone did request. I don't know. I've missed it. Seems to be some drama going on. Goodness. Oh, shut up, you. Fucking fun. Of the towns of the area, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh, what the fuck's happened here? Splendid isolation, are you doing? Oh, not doom. Oh, god, all right, all right, let's play, let's get the Commodore 64 out. What was it? Tales of Tales. Oh, where the fuck it? I don't even know if I got it. Tales. Um.
Tails a boom, tails a cat. Nope, I don't think I've got it. What's that? Nope, that's not it. I don't think I've got it. Let's have a look what that is though. Don't know if it is. I don't know what's going on. Right, is it? It is the one. Oh, that was potluck, wasn't it? That's potluck. Right. Um, level one, what's going on? Right, yes, to start. Oh, it's got speech in it. Well, I didn't catch none of that. Yeah, the speech is... The speech is so... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Why can't I fire nothing? You can't fire. Oh, bollocks to this. Right, why can't I get nothing? Right, it's fire to jumps fire. Yeah, I'm trying to collect them. Or do you have to collect them in? You have to collect the jugs. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. Just keep walking. Do you have to collect them in? Right, we don't have to sit through the speech all the time. Oh, Arabia. Oh, I get you. you got to do it in. Right, so we'll go for A. Oh, right. R. Where's fucking R? Where's R? R's up there. Ah, it's annoying. Ah, oh, fuck this. And you got to do it all again. If you lose a life, you've got to do it all again. Fuck this. Now, this is annoying. Oh, wait for that fucking cannon. Now I'm going to get... Oh, Arabian. Taking the piss. Ah, oh, fucking hell. No, I don't like that. That's a bit frustrating. Well, I'll have another go. Have one more go. That's annoying. Wait for the cannon. Oh! Gee! <sighs> Enemy house on the Atari. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's got to be better than this. This is annoying to play. Right, so how do you go down? How do you go down? Without falling? This is hoax. H O X S sixty four. Nah, that's, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, but the thing is, oh, what's up? But how do I go down again? That was a bit silly. That, that's flawed. Right. Okay. What's next? 
Hang on, hang on. Can right. He requests Henry's house on the Atari XL XC. Okay, we'll just have a look for Goddard. Atari, you see if it. Right, here we go. What's it called? Henry. Henry's house. Yes, we got it. F9 to continue. Right, what's going on? Oh, we have 42. How are you doing? And why not working? It's not working. Is it loading? Okay, good, good. But is this actually loading or what? I don't know what's going on. Never owned an Atari XLXC. Never ever played on one, so I don't know what's happening. Is it crashed or is it loading? <laughs> but it should be a disc. I thought it was a disc loader. Have I got an accelerator? I don't know if that's working. Don't know. I don't know. Don't think it's working. Mind you, the play's there, so. Twenty-one viewers. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Um. Someone else put it. I go 21 and it go down to 15 <laughs> well whoever's on it's probably a long, quite a lot lot I've had in a while I think no this ain't working this is not working uh, no nah, it's not looking it's not working I can't even there's no way you can speed up your emulation on this So, no, there's no option. Options, hang on. Oh, full speed. No, it clearly isn't working. That's crashed. Oh, hang on, what's happening here? Ah, oh, what's going on? That's clearly. No, don't know what's going on. That's not working. Anyway, sorry about that. I'll have to go with the next one. Go to the next one. Doom on the Jaguar. All right. I know I'm not going to like it, but there you go. <laughs> I'll have, you know, I went into Doom, so I'm not going to expect a good gameplay from me on this one. Uh, where is the Jaguar? Oh, that's not the Jazz PC engine. Where's the fucking Jaguar? The fuck has it gone? Oh, where? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, another Doom game. Right, here's the Doom. I'm not going to have a long game of it because I know I'm going to hate it. I know it's not a game that I'm going to enjoy. I've already played the SNES version. I just did pretty much of this. I know I'm not going to like it. I don't really care for these games. Alright, let's just play the fucking thing. Yeah, I suppose it's good for its time, but... These games don't interest me. Not interested.
The best person to watch playing this would be Stefano. He loves this game. Now, I can understand why people liked it, but I just, I, I saw it, I just don't see the big deal about it. Not a big deal to me. Maybe because I was late to the PC and I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not finding it interesting. Uh, okay. Well, I've had enough of that. <laughs> Let's see what the N64 version is going to be like. Probably pretty much the same thing with better graphics. Right, here we go. Doom 64. Oh, you banned Doom. Oh, dear. Yeah, I remember you saying now. Well, it wasn't loud music. What are you talking about, Dream Reaper? What, you, uh, what is it all about, that music? I don't know what you're on about. Right, let's just go for it. Be gentle. No, no, no. Let's have it. Let's have it interesting. We can't just have it be gentle. Got to have some sort of... Right, what's fire button? That's fire button. Alright, okay. What's f oh fire button's that? Come on. Oh well, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I hate it. We. <laughs> yeah, as I say, in the right hands, it's a good game, but. Just wasn't interested in these sort of games. Oh, how did you open the door? What button? What button? What button do I push to open the door? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm pushing every button here and it ain't working. Well, that's a change of weapon. No, give me that bloody... Right, well, I've had enough of that. <laughs> okay, what's the next game? 32 I can't play I got to download the 32x games I think I don't know if I got it but I don't know we'll have a look we'll have a look see if I got it uh, right let's have a look Star Wars Star Control Star Trek Star oh yes I do have it I do have it Star Wars Arcade Uh, Pink Panther, what's that? Voting for Panther on the 8 bit. If you're not into it, you won't. No, I'm not into it. I said that. I said that to everyone that I'm not into these sort of games. Right. 
tell me in this school. Okay. So what about the music? I don't know. Oh wow, I've played this before, haven't I? Sure, I've played this before. Oh, was... Alright, that's... Oh, that's your fire, okay. Oh, this is good, actually. This is pretty good. Alright, that's a... Whoa, wow. It's a trap. Tie fire! Oh, what the fuck's happened to the tie fire? Oh, come here! Oh, I shot my own ship. Caution! Slow down! How do I fucking slow down? Grim Reaper! I don't know why you're repeating your messages. Gotcha. Right, so I've got one. How do I slow down? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this is a good one. It is quite good. Oh, shit. Once I knew, if I know the buttons properly. What are you talking about? You know, you keep saying something about music. What's scaring you? What is scaring you? And you tell me you tell me in the school. What what's going on? I can't. You know, it's difficult to play games and try and read all the messages at the same time. I'm trying. Right, mission complete, okay. Is that it? Oh, no, that's it, is it? Okay. I hired Star Fox. Alright, Star Fox. As we're on the C as we're on the 64, we'll play Star Fox then we'll play the 8-bit one can you remind me of the 8-bit one when I played this one that'll be the next one as we're on hang on a minute no we're not we're on the we're on the Mega Drive I thought it was on the N64 right we'll play hang on a minute I'm fucking getting confused now I'm fucking getting confused right what was the 8-bit one Panther on the 8-bit right let's see if we can got that one Right. Right, that one we know don't work. Right. Alright, here we go. Let's see if this one works. Yeah! Fuck me, something works. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, David Whitaker. Oh. Good composer. Did I play this style? I think I might have reviewed this on the Commodore 64 actually. Music advert scares me. Oh, my, Rachel was. No, Rachel was saying it. What advert? What, what's everyone talking about? Music advert? Am I missing something here? So you pull, pull down, makes it go lower and slower. YouTube doesn't like this game. I had to upload a video in 1080p in the end. How can YouTube not like a game? Collect the men, okay, I'm... Um, okay, where's the men? We're in the buildings? Oh, now I'm going across the wall. Uh, Yeah, it is a bit difficult to do two things at once. Trying to do play the game and try and read the chat, it's not easy. Right, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm trying to play some games here and you're telling me about some music that's scaring you. Right, that was that one. What was um, Star Fox on the N64? Is it the N64? <laughs> I feel like it. I feel like it at the moment. Did you guys pub quiz stream last night? No, I wasn't even aware of it. <laughs> oh God! Right, what did you want Star Fox played on? I'm gonna have a drink in half hour. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Can't wait. <laughs> right. Anyway, what's what do you want me? To... I don't know. Some sort, something's going on in my stream today. I don't know. It's just some people are just being weird. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I want to wait off because that way I can play the quizzes, have a drink, and I can relax. 
M64, okay, okay. Okay. Right, Star Fox. It's the Japanese version. Don't want that. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're on the Heineken. I'd only be on the Carlsberg. <coughs> it's drink, I don't care. Get beer delivered, oh, that's good. Been watching your uh, Amiga progress error. Looks like you're making some progress with it. Right, let's go to main game. Corneri, fourth planet of the Lilac system. The evil android yeah. this once thriving system. Bloody, I wouldn't have a clue how to fix one. Right, okay. Let's go with this this one. I said, I, an advert made you jump. What? What advert? <laughs> Open the wing. <coughs> Excuse me. You like watching? Well, I watch Amiga. Era 42s because he's fixing an Amiga 600 at the moment. I think of what eight parts you've done so far, and he it was fixing a um, an Amiga CD32. Whatever happened to that? Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Right, okay, let's try and play this. Right, that does that, that's fuck. Why? Oh, someone else is firing as well. Right, that's my soul. Oh, God, okay, that spins it, okay. Shut up. I'm not telling any of you to shut up, I'm telling this person to shut up. We're entering Corneria City now. Or this fox rather. This is horrible. Everybody stay alert! Hang on, where's my ship? What's over there? What's he doing over there? Oh. You got an enemy on your tail. Use the brake. What? Oh. oh, a bit of slow down there. What's going on? 64 bit processor shouldn't slow down. I'll take this. Get the one behind me. Oh, oh I didn't make it. it. Oh. Oh. That wasn't clever, that wasn't clever, that wasn't clever. Oh, 
I'm dead. say what it was because you are just gonna I probably wouldn't know what advert he was talking about anyway because I don't watch hardly any TV anymore because it's shit so I probably wouldn't know what advert he was on about anyway Looking at a chat at the same time. Ah, so this is the dark. I am going to crush you. Right, follow the arrows. Right, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Follow the arrows. Okay. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, I don't know. I don't watch television anymore because it's shit, there's nothing on it. Bring back the days when there was good programs. You know, you got more choice, but all this choice is just crap. Ship's gonna crash in a minute. That don't look good. Game over. That's a good game, that. That's a good game. Quite enjoyed that. Right, I want to request another one. I've totally lost. If there's any up there I've missed, I do apologise because I just can't keep up with everything. Rockstar ate my hamster. Right, well, well, we'll probably finish up with that then to eight o'clock. Rockstar ate my hamster. We'll just, yeah, we'll just play that till 8 o'clock then. Right, okay, let's get it out again. Let's get the save state. Right, where's the save state? Fucking hell. 
load with a load state. There we go. Right, so what should we do then, classics? Okay, Jason. Publicity. Never bought a license. <laughs> Rockstar ate my house. Oh, it worked. Yeah, I think they should update this, update it now. Cause it's out of date. TV license, just the way I see it, should be subscription. If you want it, then you have it. If you don't want it, you shouldn't have to pay for it. it. Shouldn't be law that you have to pay for it. Especially when there's no nothing decent on it anymore. It's not, I think it's about 150 odd quid now, is it? A year? Mind you, I bet a lot more people watching TV now because of a lockdown. Fuck me, I'm not. All my most majority of my entertainment comes from YouTube gig. There's more entertainment on YouTube than there is on TV. University. Accessing the license fee and getting us out of the EU. I well, mind you, I didn't vote, so I can't comment on that. <laughs> Three nights, okay. Well, 21 people apparently at the moment. <laughs> so I've got a, a world viewing audience of 21. <laughs> Excuse me. chart time <coughs> oh it's gone down to 19 now uh, I don't know if I produce anything quality but certainly produce quantity <laughs> <laughs> Who's lying? <laughs> I think I've watched that. Does it? Bloody hell, Stefano. I didn't know that. I thought we was the only country that had a player TV license. Right. 
Right, okay. What do you want to do now? someone else make a choice you're getting bored of it now classics <laughs> here you go classics has handed it over to someone else what I do though I will save it right we'll hand it over to DVD publicity who is a publicity Laughing Nun in Horror. <laughs> oh well, it didn't work. What do you mean, fuck Italy? Don't say that. Still a few found. Yeah, they've still got a black and white license out there. Gifts. Right, gifts. What do you want to buy? Food. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Did I have TV tax? Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't think they were... Spain are... I don't know. No, they don't. I don't think they do. No. I mean, they're telly TV obsessed over there in America. TV obsessed. Well, hopefully by then they might have changed something. I don't know. If it can't go on, I don't think. I think they're going to change it sooner or later. BBC will probably be bought out by a bigger, like, I don't know, some American corporation or something. Hello, Robert, how are you doing? Panther. Panther, what's that? Did you? Hang on a minute, did I? I can't remember. I must have reviewed it. Did I review it? I can't fucking remember. It was definitely something looked familiar. I would have wrote it down, surely. I must have done it. Is it... Uh, now I'm fucking... 
Oh, I'll play. Did I play on the Atari? No, but I'm sure it was a. Who requested it? I did play Panther, didn't I? I think I've already. I did review it. I think. I'm sure, I've reviewed it. I think I did it on the Commodore 64. I just can't fucking remember now. Yeah, it was still on the Atari, wasn't it? I played just played it on the Atari, but did I review it? I must have reviewed it. I can't remember. You reviewed it on the car. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. I did. Okay. Brilliant. Fucking can't remember. I don't think no one's playing this anymore, are they? So let's quit out of this. Uh, I bloody don't know. <laughs> anyway, not a few minutes yet. I'll tell you what, who wants to request one last game? Let's play one last game of something. The first one that comes up, I'll play. Ah, oh, fucking hell. What a fucking game. Where was it? Amstrad. We ain't played nothing on the Amstrad today. Well, what a fuck. No! That game will not be on the street. I am not playing that game. Definitely. Definitely not playing Stroker. That won't be played. I won't be playing that on any stream. I'd rather play Bridget. <laughs> I don't think I can play Bridget for the next eight minutes, though. <laughs> I think one. I think one minute would be enough for this game. I'm not having fifty lives. What happened there? Oh, up. Bloody awful this game. You must remember this one, Rachel. Well, I had an Amstrad CPC, must have had this. If you didn't, you bloody escaped something. This crap. Waiting for Stroker on the PS4. <laughs> yeah, it did. Oh my god, this was probably the worst game on the Am One of the worst games on the Amstrad CPC. That one, Home Run. Home I didn't have Home Runner back in the day, but fucking hell, oh, that is just utter shit. I can't have another go. So, do you know what? Good idea. Good idea, Jason. Let's end with, with Bomb Jack. Because I know that was a good game. And in my opinion, the Amstrad CPC version was the best 8 bit version. It was even better than the 16 bit versions. So playable, this. Right, okay, let's, what's the keys? I can't bloody remember. I think it's QAOP in space, is it? Oh, I don't know, we'll soon find out. 
No, it's not. What the bloody hell is the keys? Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't know what the keys are. Well, X is to jump. What's left and right? Right, K and M. Okay, we found them. Didn't see that there. Come on, get out of the way. Yep, that is a brilliant game. Auric request. What's the ultra? Oh, we'll play that next time. So we ain't got time now. Um, yeah, he did, didn't he? Who, who said that? It was Larry Bundy Jr., wasn't it? They'd done the video on that. Watched that ages ago. time almost so I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be back um, actually what was that quiz game on the Commodore 64 we'll play that one first well we'll do I'll load it up and then I'll take a break and I'll be back Europe right Have I got it? That's the question. You request? No, I don't. E U E. Euro European U. Euro oh, for fuck's sake! I don't think I've got it. Euro page. What's that? No, Euro football, Euro five aside, Eureka. But I don't have Euro. Europe quiz. Europe quiz. Hang on. Europe. No, I don't have it. European soccer, European. No. Don't have it. Anyway, can't play it, I don't have it, that's unfortunate. Anyway, we'll discuss it when I come back.
Okay, no, nope, I wasn't off for a pearl, I was just off to get my beers. Right, what is it just called? Arcade Quizler. Was it on the Amiga? Let's find out. Let's see if it was on the Amiga. I can find it, where the fuck? Oh, I can't, my voice ain't good at the moment. <laughs> Keep coughing. I'll only make it worse. Right, let's have a look. Europa, Euro Europe. <coughs> European challenge, European. I don't think I. It's a game called Europe. I can find out what that is. Excuse me. We can find out what that Europe is. Yeah, I probably got it. Oh well. I've been coughing for about two or three years now. I don't know. I just won't go to the doctor. That's nah, fine. I'm off. Temperature's fine. This may be a strategy. I don't know. What could this be? Well, let me fucking play it. I wonder if this could be. I don't know. Do you take blood? No, I don't take any medication at all. 
Right, push either mouse button. Right. Languages, play all. Oh, wonder what this could be. Wonder if this is it. I don't know. Soon find out. Player one. Playing the computer, whatever it what we're doing, so Oh fuck's sake. I don't know what this one is. Computer skill fair. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a strategy game, fuck this. Anyway, we ain't I ain't got it, so let's I'll tell you what, let's just go for that as we're on the Amiga. Set. It is a quiz game. I think it looked like a strategy game. Oh fuck it. I've just changed the disc now, oh well. Try again another we'll try again. I thought it looked like a strategy game. No, this ain't the right one! Oh well. Right, so let's have one game of this as I've got it up. It looks shit anyway. Okay. <coughs> right. Who sang My Baby Just Cries For Me? Cindy, Sissy Houston, Elaine Page, Cleo Lang or Nina Simpson? Simone. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, well done. Well done, Jason. Well done. Alright. Let's try and go for film because this song's on a timer. <coughs> Who worked for Mother? The Avengers, Charlie's Angels, Columbo, or the A-Team? Well, it definitely wasn't the A-Team. I think it was the Avengers, wasn't it? Charlie's Angels? The Avengers. I'm sure it's the Avengers. Right, the Avengers. Well done! Well done, everyone. Right, well, should we go for film again? Who co-starred in Mary Poppins? Angela Lansbury, Dick Van... It's Dick Van Dyke, wasn't it? Tommy Steele or Sarah Mills? Yeah, it was Dick. Dickie Van Dyke. With the worst Cockney accents you can get. Who had... Who was held captured? captive in the village the prisoner the convict the cat burglar or the jailbird <coughs> the prisoner okay correct well done well that's the only one geography all oh, geography which which is European which is Europe's highest volcano volcano venues yeah, Mount Etna or Tambour. Could it be Etna? You watched the first episode of Blake Seven. What'd you think of it? Because I can I can get into it. What? What's classics on about? Oh, so is Mount Edna. Okay. Well done, it said Mount Edna. Well done. Cash run. Where is Fingal's Cave? The Shetland Islands, the Orkney Islands, out of Hebrides, or Isle of Man?
Future Armour. I think it's alright Future Armour. Well, I don't know. It just... Well, it's one of them things I watched because I was in when I was in America, and I don't know. I just watched it. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. Is it the the Hebrides? Out oh, Hebrides. Yeah, well done. Yep, Stefano, Rachel. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Which is the longest running soap opera? EastEnders. No. Coronation Street. Maybe. Not Brookside, and it wasn't Crossroads. It's Coronation Street. Robot Chicken, yeah, I remember Robot Chicken. That was quite good, that was. Yep, Coronation Street. What nationality was J.S. Back? German, Austrian, English, or Swiss? Was it Austrian? <laughs> Excuse me. He turns six sixty. Oh, Coronation Street. Oh, German. Oh, I was German. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. Well done, German. Rachel and Stefano. Right. What does Pizar Piz Pizikato? Oh, what the fuck? That whatever that is. Pizikato mean? Softly, plucked, very softly, lively. <coughs> Excuse me. Plucked, fucked. <laughs> Alright, plucked. Yep, yeah, well done. Hello, Maltese, how you doing? Right. So I'll go for film. This one ain't a bad game. Who starred in GBH? Peter Bowles, Robert Lindsay, John Hurt or Michael Caine? Not a lot of people know that. Internet's poor, is it? Oh dear. Was it uh, Robert? Robert Lindsay. Right, okay, we'll go for Robert Lindsay. Cracks, well done. Well, I think you might have to go to music, maybe. Claire D. Learn was composed by Debussy, Ravel. Oh yeah, what well, one of them for? Oh yeah, what is that one? I've got that a DVD box set of that. Ah, oh, what the fuck was it called? Debussy. Right, Debussy. Okay. Well done, Debussy. Citizen Smith, of course it was. Film, TV and film. Who was the play school presenter? Carol Shell, Sarah Green, Brian Kant, or Tony Arthur? No, I said Kant. <laughs> Can't. Brian, was it? Hang on. Power, Brian, Brian. All right, we'll go with. Hang on, we've got one for. Hang on. Two for Brian. No, it weren't Brian. Oh, what's that? Art and literature. Lewis Carroll, private profession, was maths lecturer, accountant, physicist, physicist, or artist. Art, artist. Yeah, well, that. The 
accountant Dumpton video no I haven't seen that accountant All right, two for accountant let's see if it's accountant no oh it was a lecture Stefano could have been the lecturer then alright we got no choice but geography where do Vectorin Yeah, where do Vectorins Venice, Isle of Wight, Vietnam or Silly Islands Vectin Vectins Vectins Isle of Wight, okay. Well done, Stefano. I'll go for a sports question, I guess. We ain't had sports yet. Armada. Sir Francis Drake was playing rackets, polo, croquet, or bowls. Right, bowls. Yep, yeah, it was bowls. Oh, was that like literature? Right, who wrote The Prisoner of Chilean? Tennyson, Byron, Keats, or Shelley? <coughs> Very good classics. Lord Byron. Okay, Lord Byron. No, it's not. I did push in that direction. I think I did push in that direction. Oh, started again. Oh, went for music. Ooh. Leonard Lento in music means slow, fast, sloppy, or speed up. It was that one. No. Yeah. I pushed left. I went for the left. I'm sure I went for left. Right. Slow in Italian. Right. It's slow. Right. I push up. Yeah. That worked. Oh, I didn't push that. The maximum lifespan for a mouse is five years, four years, six years. None of these. <coughs> I used that a lot when in. All right. How long was you in Italy for, Rachel? One million years. Right, none of these. Let's see, none of these. Incorrect! Right, I went for it this time. OTT was an adult version of Play School. Tiz was. Yeah, I think it was Tiz was. Swap Shop or Blue Peter. I think it was Tiz was. Over the top. Yeah, I'm sure it was Tiz was. Yes, it was Tiz was. Hello, hello was set in France. I don't even need to. It's France. Right. Uh, Which is America's last? It's, it's Texas. Texas, Alaska, Wyoming, or 
Idaho, nice, Texas. <laughs> it's Texas and I don't even know what the smallest state is because I used to live there. Rhode Island. It's Texas. No, it wasn't. I thought I'm sure it was Texas. What happened there? Oh, I fucking restarted, didn't I? Damn it. Who first... Who split... Who first split the atom? Rutherford, Einstein, Oppenheimer, or Curie? 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 I ain't got a fucking clue. I'm sure that was Texas. Can someone please Google that? What is the largest state in America? I'm sure it was Texas. If no one minds. Rutherford. Right, Rutherford. Yes, it's Rutherford. Well done. Who left Grange Hill to try it is luck? Tucker. Tucker Jenkins. No, it weren't Dennis Nash. Who the fuck's that? Mr. Bronson. No. Tucker. Alaska. It's Texas is the second. Oh, right. But that was, that on the was that on the list? I can't bloody remember now if that was on the list. Yeah, but Alaska, yeah, I can... Alaska is not in the mainland, though. But te Texas is in the mainland is the largest state. Right. Who is the who is State's Crow's main singer? France it's Francis Ross Rossi, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well done. Oops, sports. What nationality is Judy Schechter? Ah, Judy Schechter, sorry, it's a racing driver. French, German, South African. I think it's South African. I'm pretty sure it's South African. Yes. Geography. How many... What? Catherine's... Did Henry, how many Catherines did Henry the eighth is that marry? Two, one, three or four. I don't fucking know. What well, two? Right, is it two? Right, Jason says two. So does Maltese. No, it's not. You must restart. What was John Wayne's last film? The Shootist, True Grit, Shane or Apache? The Shootist, right, The Shootist. Yep, well done. Music question. Lindsay Buckingham was a member of Fleetwood Mac. The Who is Fleetwood Mac. Rolling Stones, yeah, right, not ABBA. Definitely not The Who. It's definitely Fleetwood Mac. Well done, everyone. Oh, shit, I didn't want to go for that. Eric Arthur Blair is better known as Graham Greeny. John Wyndham, George Oswell, Orwell, or Robert Boeing, Boning, Bo Browning, Browning. <coughs> Excuse me, Orwell. All right, George Oswell. Well done, Stefano. Right, let's turn and go for the music question. Who was Velvet, Velvet Underground's patron? Malcolm. Malcolm McLaren, was that McLaren? 
David Hookney, Andy Warhol, or Lou Reed? Lou Reed? Okay. No, it wasn't. And I did push down. Right, who painted the blue boy? Turner, Reynolds, Hoograf, or Gainsborough? Perhaps the computer was wrong, I don't know. I'm sure I pushed down. Turner, right, Turner, oh, we got. Uh, Thomas, two for who's come on? Someone put their hundred percent. Right, it could be Thomas. I think it's Stefano because he's you know first name and second name. I'll go with I'll go with Stefano on that one. And it's correct. Well done. What nationality was? That sounds Russian. Russia, Romanian, Austrian, or French. Well, that sounds Russian. But then again, it could be Romanian. <laughs> Here's Russian. We're doing well at this. It's good. This is a good game, actually. I like this one. Right. Who was not one of the Pythons? Graham Golden, John Cleese, Terry Jones, or Michael Palin? We definitely ain't Cleese or Palin. Google is winning. What do you mean? Graham Garden, right. Yep, well done. One pound. What? What is a dogger? Oh, fuck. What is a dogger bank? A rock? A coral reef? An island? Or a sandbank? What? They're accusing Stefano of googling. Who? How do? What the fuck? Sandbank. Yep, well done. Douglas Bunn designed which course? Wembley Arena. Or well, Wembley Arena ain't a course, is it? Babington, Hickstead or Burley? Yeah, we don't do Googling on this. That's just cheating. We don't do cheating on this channel. Well, I don't anyway. Badminton. Oh, I'll go with badminton. No! Oh, fuck. Up a bank it. Shit. Has that ended the game? That's game over. Damn it! What time is it? Oh well. That's a good one. No, I like that one. At least we get some do different de different questions on this. Right, let's go for our usual. Classics in there already with G. <laughs> Block G, okay. Here 
Here we go. <laughs> okay, Rachel. In there with shitty colour immediately. Okay, is he going to have shitty colour? Of course we are. Shitty colour. <laughs> Okay, Jason, right. What is Cricket Umpire Harold Bird's nickname? Is it the bird? It's the bird, isn't it? Or birdie? Birdie? Bird? Um, I I think, for me, it's Return of the Jedi, but I liked all three of them. My favourite was um, New Hope. That was my favourite. Dickie! Dickie, that's it. Dickie. Is it Dickie? Or, no, I don't know. Dickie, well done. Um, Robert, well done. Yeah, well done. Right, ooh, orange wedge straight away. Well, second go, rather. I wonder if we're going to beat the record from last week. What position did John P Prufo, Prufo, yeah, that word, Rufumo hold in 1963 when the scandal broke. <coughs> Was that the missionary? Missionary? Foreign mission? Foreign minister? Right, right, right. This is for. Right, what's going on here? Right, foreign minister, missionary. Because this is for wedge, so we need a hundred percent. Are you hundred percent sure on that one, Rachel? If you are, say yes. <laughs> or give me a hundred percent. You remember now, not the mission. I was oh, missionary's position. <laughs> Sorry. Secretary of State of War. Hundred percent. Well done, classics. First wedge of the night. Right, grey. One. RPM or red. RPM, okay. <laughs> what was Acker Bilks 1969 Christmas number one, number two here? I ain't got a clue. Here comes Elvis. What have we put up? What's it? I've got it. I just need to check. Fuck off! Right. Sorry about that. What the hell's happening here? Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what's happened there. Bees are here. Right, anyway. Sorry. Strangers on the shore. The Hallmark Channel. Oh. Yeah, we know that. Where's your beer? My beer is right here. Right. Strangers on the shore. Let's go for that. Well done, Robert. Well done. Four. Right, grey. Six. Right, would you want to go orange or RPM?
I need to check. I need to just. Right, okay. RPM. I need to check Discord for a sec. Who reached number two in 57 with When I Fall in Love? Right, okay. Oh, right, classic's just telling everyone I'm alive, okay. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. Well, thanks, classics, for telling everyone. Brilliant. Right, okay. Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole. Right, let's find out. It's not for wedge, so we can. Yep, Nat King Cole. Well, well done, Robert. Well done, um, RBP. Three. Right, grey. Four. Grey. Oh, we've already got that wedge. We don't need to go for that one. We've already got it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, let's go for blue. Which West Indian cricketer wrote Cricket Advice Vance Cricket Advance in 1965? I hate cricket. I hate cricket. I really hate that sport. Sobers. Shabby Cox. <laughs> Mind you, I, I don't like most sports actually, I only like motor racing. <laughs> I watch World Cup, I don't know, we're even going to have the European Cup this year. It was a fucking Covid shite. Motor Jeep, I oh, was stacked the motorbike, the motorbike, I'm not in the motorbike racing. Never been in the motorbike racings, racing. It's usually four wheels with me. <laughs> Formula One. Used to watch IndyCar racing quite a lot, and NASCAR. When I was living in the States, I used to watch NASCAR. Ah. Used to watch IndyCar years ago when we when well, it was a channel on Sky that used to show all the American racing. This was years ago, the early nineties. <laughs> All right, right. What? Well, uh, I don't think no one knows about cricket, here, do we? I watch. Oh, you watch rugby and darts usually, but it's seen rugby. All oh, right, Rachel. So I couldn't get uh, rugby. I couldn't get into dart. I, I enjoy playing darts. I enjoy playing darts. Oh, I can't stand baseball. I hate that fucking sport. Hate it. Along with American football, I fucking hate it. So. Right, let's find out. Sobers. Greg, so well done. Robert got it. Well done. If anyone else got it, well done. One. Right, grey. One. Right, red or blue.
red okay red which British actress went from the rag trade to Rowan Rowan and Martin's laughing I ain't got a fucking clue Sheila Hancock? Let's find out. Judy Khan. Do not even know who she is? Five. Fuck. Uh, might as well go for orange because we need that shitty colour or silver screen. Which country refused to sign the limit, limited nuclear test ban treaty of 1963? Well, France was it? Oh, refused. Oh, that probably would be China then. China, they just ignored. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> Ah, uh, refute Russia. Probably Russia. Or the USSR, there would have been known that. France and China. I said France, you said France, everyone said France. Uh, we got that one. Well done. Right, for all shitty colour wedge. Which, what colour was Presley's Cadillacs? Which, what colour were Presley's Cadillacs. Pink. The pink Cadillacs? It's full wedge, so we need to be 100%. Two for pink. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Let's find out. Is it pink Cadillacs? Well done, Robert. Well done, Stefano. Another wedge. Right, so we don't need to go that way. We've got those wedges, so we need to come this way. Orange. In what year did serious black rioting break out in cities across America? In which year did serious black rioting break out in cities across America? 2020 <laughs> 2011 nah if you remember those well it was bad here it was it was terrible here I remember the writing yeah it has to be in the 60s don't it, it has to be in the 60s 56 No way, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to know this. Flight 2 for 56. Let's find out. 68. Splendid Isolation got that one. So well done to Splendid Isolation. Free. Oh. Silver screen wedge. Uh, 
which star of Woman in Love starred in the plays Butley and Otherwise Engaged? Come out the back of the brain. Okay, good, good. D flower. And I'm not even gonna say that DVD. <laughs> No guess is D. Well, it's a full wedge, so gotta be hundred percent. Right, so, Glenda Jackson. Full classics and DVD up be up with these um, silver screen questions. Mind you, I wouldn't even know. Mind you, I don't know most of them. So. <laughs> D fl D flower. Right, I know you, but it was not an hundred percent, and it's for a wedge. So, is it D flower? If you got 100% on it, then I'll go for it. Because it's for a wedge. You put a D flower, but a question mark. But you're the only one. Re well, Glenda Jackson's up there as well. So whoever puts 100%, I'll go with the answer. Right, um, error 42, D flower as well. <laughs> what are you talking about? D flower, D flower, D flower? What's that on about? What, what, what's that all about? What are you talking about? Must be slow on the uptake there because I don't know what you're on about. supposed to be a dirty reference but I'm trying to think deflowering is a virgin okay never ever heard of that phrase before never heard of it it's probably something we don't stay down south <laughs> not from these parts I've never heard of that I've never heard of that before Right, Alan Bates, okay. Well done, Stefano. No, Stefano, don't use Google. What are you talking about? Don't use Google. We don't do that. We don't do that on my channel. Right, well done, anyway. Right, blue, blue, or blue? All right, Mark Blaster. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, take care, Mark Blaster. Thanks for coming on, mate. 
Right, what comic was brought out in 1953 to top all others? Topper, oh, two for Topper. Is it Topper? The Topper, well done, Robert, Rachel, RBP. Well done. Never ever heard of it. Right. I uh, have to go for shitty colour because we need to go this way. <laughs> when were these ex examinations first introduced? 1940, 1950 or 1960? Was that the, uh, that's the eye test isn't it? <coughs> school exams of course they are the O level and the A level of course they are I just look I just looked at that and thought oh, the eye test examination of the eye test it's of course it is the O level and the A level bloody hell nineteen sixty I was first year to take GCS. I think, actually, I think I was. No. When was that introduced to GCSE? I'm sure that was when I started high school. In 1985. Because it was called the GCEs, wasn't it, before that? I dropped out before I could. All oh, right. I don't know. I hated school. Didn't pass any exams. Didn't give a fuck. I didn't care about school. I hated school. I just wanted to get a job. You were sixteen in nineteen eighty-eight. All right. I was sixteen in nineteen ninety. Oh, she. Turn two years older. Oh, so it must have been introduced in nineteen eighty three then. Okay. I fucking hated high school. I really hated it. Where, where, whereabouts are you from, RBP? If you don't mind me asking. So, are we? Is everyone saying the sixties? Right, let's go for the sixties then. No, it was the fifties. Oh, Birmingham. Excuse me. Ten of where's that? Ten of three. Where's that? One. Four. Fucking hell. Grey again. Oh, RPM. Terra Fee. Terra Fee. Canary Islands. Nice. What group made it to number two with the Game of Love, Game of Love in 1965? Bloody hell, nice, nice islands. 
Like that. Nice little bloody hell. He's not requesting me any more text adventure games now. He's back on the platform games. What did he request me? The Lion King. Now I've got to play it. I thought you. I've already played it on the Mega Drive. Now I've got to play it on the Master System. Right. So. Right. I was sixteen in night. Come on! I don't believe that. <laughs> I honestly don't believe that. Spending isolation 20, 1926, you were 16. <laughs> uh, so you're telling me you're in your 90s? You feel 90. Go on, you don't. Ah, well. Come on. Believe me, you can't feel 90. If you're not 90, you won't be able to. You, you can't feel it. You're 109. Well, if you're 109, you, you're fucking very spot on. You're very, you know, you're very good with computers and stuff. The thing is, you can't feel an age. You can't feel an age. <laughs> if you're not that old, you won't be able to feel it. You can't feel it. Unless you are it. Isn't the oldest man 115? I don't know. I mean, if you're going to live to that age, fucking hell. don't feel 20 I can't really see I can't really see it because it, it's so the picture the avatar for pictures are so small I can't really see it Young is what you feel. Anyway, what group made it to number two with the game of love in 1965? Is anyone? I don't know, I can't. Maybe, yeah. Or oh, the birds you feel. <laughs> The bird you feel. <laughs> Temelinus, Terra Tremelinus. <laughs> Let's find out. Wayne Fall and the Masturbator. No, mind benders. I think no one got that. Okay. <laughs> right. <coughs> Red or silver screen? Silver screen. Okay, classics. <coughs> Excuse me. Who did Rex Harrison portray in 1962's 
Cleopatra. And Anthony Han Solo. Anthony. I wouldn't think it was Anne Solo. <laughs> but wasn't the Caesar's card of the Cleopatra? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Getting locked down forever. <laughs> well, I think we're going to be in lockdown for a little bit longer than you may think. I'll go Amp. All right, let's go for Anthony. Julius Caesar. I think no one says Julius Caesar. Actually, Stefano just got in there. Well done, Stefano. Six. Gray. One. Shitty colour orange. Sorry, I shouldn't bring the room down. What way? Oh. Do not take my answer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, actually, my brother. Oh, sorry to hear that, RBP. I'm so sorry to hear that. Right, shitty colour. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shitty colour, shitty colour. Okay. Yeah, I just got it. I know Stefano got it. Uh, just got, just got in there. Just in time. I was just about to select it. Yeah, I hope he recovers. Shit. Um. Right, which? Blonde-haired keyboard player left. Yes, and we joined them after two years. Rick Wakeman was that thousand percent right? Is it Wake Wakeman? Yeah, of course it was. Well done. Oh, RPM wedge. Yeah, I hope it gets better, mate. I hope it gets better. What group made it made a hit from the Coca-Cola jungle jingle jung jing jung jung jing jing? Yeah, jingle. What group made a hit from the Coca-Cola jingle? Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Well, it's got to be better. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> The Boris Bunch, Pepsi and Shirley. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, if I get coronavirus, I have seventy percent. So I don't get. Oh, fucking hell! Closed channel. Never heard of Pepsi and Shirley, the Coke Smokers, uh, which Coca Cola Jungle Low, Jingle Low. It's the real thing. <laughs> which group? <coughs> yes. 
Oh, come on, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. No one wants it, you know. No, you don't, mate. No, you don't. Don't say that, please. Don't say that. You know, I'm I'm one that gets annoyed. I'm I'm one that gets annoyed about when people say stay at home. When people say stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. You know, I'm really get it really irritates me on Facebook. Everyone's saying stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. No, you can go out for your exercise, but just stay away from other people. Just stay the fuck away from other people. Everyone needs to go outside, get exercise, get some fresh air. Especially when people got pets, you know, dogs to walk, you know, even kids want to go outside, you know, they want a bit of fresh air. You know, sense of, be sensible, keep away from everyone else. That's what I say. When people say stay at home, that just fucking irritates me. I get, you get that a lot on Facebook, I think they're from the government, just, no. Just be sensible, that's what I'm saying, be sensible. We've all had enough. We've all we've all had enough of this shit. But unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Just soldier on, and you know, just try and be positive. That's all we can do. Fuck it, hell. No, I didn't know that RBP. Can't even go out of evil legal. Fuck it, hell. So. At least in over here we got there's a bit of leniency here. You know I, I'm pretty lucky where I live. I've got open open I've got lots of fields. I can understand if you live in the middle of London, you know, then you ain't got nothing. You all you got is fucking built up high rise pieces of shit. But then again, this the this is the thing people want to live in London. You know, they want the light London life. You know, the fucking the jet set living style. I fucking would hate to live in the middle of London. I hate the fucking place. Fucking can't stand the fucking place. See, oh right, yeah, because you keep working, Rachel. You work. Yeah. Well, you're doing a good job, Rachel. You're doing a good job. You know, for any key worker, absolutely doing a good job. You know, fucking people that work, earn fucking good, you know, top money, you know, all bragging about their fucking Lamborghinis and Ferraris. You know, they're pretty fucked now, aren't they? They're pretty fucked because they're not important. You know, the key workers are the important people, the NHS staff, all, you know, are the important people right now. Well, they always have been. <laughs> Defrost in the fridge. I hope you do more game reviews, Rachel. I really hope you do, because when I watched, I, I, I laughed. At the end, when you said, um, I'm not on the ice score sh screen, what a bastard. <laughs> that fucking made me laugh. It really did. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Anyway, let's find out. The new Seekers. Who are the new Seekers? Never heard of them. Are they Job Seekers?
he's a doctor and was working yeah they are they, they, they are I risk though the doctors and and I have I do have sympathy for them you know I do I really do you know anyone that's around people you know the key workers yeah I do have sympathy really do because they're risking their lives really are and that was for which we didn't get it oh well grey uh, grey again six where do you want to go red or shitty colour Yeah, I do agree with you, classics. There, you know, they were crafting. Then they now they realise. Now they fucking realise they're the backbone at the moment. You know, well they always have been. You know, I shouldn't say at the moment, but they've always been. They've always been overlooked. You know, the the real workers. You know, NHS staffs are key workers. All of them. All the key workers that are dealing with people now are the key workers. All these people that got these high flashy jobs, you know, they could be made redundant. Fuck them. They won't be driving around in their Lamborghinis much longer. You know, I, I go out and clap, you know, I'll go out and clap. You know, for the NHS staff, they deserve it. You know, I'll clap for the key workers as well. Because <laughs> you deserve it. So, oh, 7 pm. It's Thursday, 8 pm. Over here. <laughs> yeah, it's just Thursdays, yeah. Thursdays at eight o'clock. The clapping, yeah. For the NHS stuff. You know, I think it should be for, you know, all key workers. It should be. Oh, sorry to hear that, Rachel. Sorry. It's terrible, isn't it? It's terrible. Let's go with the art. What's the answer? I'm sorry, art. Sorry. So what? Hang on. What are we? What are we doing? I don't even know what we do. Oh, let's go for grey, I guess. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, I'm on that one. We need to go for shitty colour or red. What do you want to go for? One close. Yeah, but it's it's a family member. It's a family member, red. You know, it's anyone, you know, it's not it's not nice. What looks good, tastes good, and by golly, does you good. I've never done that. I've never done heroin. 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 Never done that. Never done it. Cigarettes. Yeah, smack. Don't. I think the worst I've ever done was LSD. I was in my crazy teens. My crazy nineteens. 
I was I, w I was quite you know I didn't touch any of that cocaine shit never done that but you know did the mold stuff did LSD I wouldn't do it now yes I was 19 I was at, yeah I was 19 I was I was in my crazy years you remember 19 that would have been 1993 we didn't have internet we didn't have we had internet but it was it was just starting you know we just started ain't nothing like it is now it was pretty much my raving. I didn't really go raving, but it was pretty much my raving years. The, the years I was getting drunk. You know, it was my crazy, crazy decade, the 90s. I, I, like, I really liked the 90s. It was fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Didn't have none of that PC shit with good comedy. I oh, said so politically correctness, you know. Didn't have none of that. <laughs> yeah, we had some good. Oh, I had some good times. Chip, catnap, catnap, catnap. Oh my god! <laughs> Noise was brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Worst thing you've done was gravy with alcohol. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but your times are coming. Your times are coming. Mook and Snot is the answer. Well done, Stefano. Don't know about the stoke bit, but you got the first bit. You Well done. Come on, there's no Google. Right, no, we can't go for grey, uh, we have to go for orange. I've ruined much of my life with alcohol. <laughs> Well, we've all been drunk. Um, what suspension bridge was opened in Scotland, fourth of September, nineteen sixty-four? We've all been there. We've all. I'm sure we've all been drunk. No. The rest of the night is just my fucking. Oh my god. Bloody hell. I think we all got drunk. I got fucking drunk most of the time in the nineties. I fucking loved it. Really enjoyed it. Being with my mates, fucking having a great, we all had a great time, you know, didn't have no problems. Now it's just like fucking shit. I don't get drunk, obviously, I ain't been drunk for a long time, but. Right, full road bridge. Well done, Rachel, well done, Stefano. John, you, I know you prefer listening to single tracks to albums, but there's an album you might enjoy. What's that? I don't mind listening to... I like certain tunes, you know. You know, I'm not one to follow out um, artists or anything. If I like a certain tune, I'll listen to it. I, I have a broad taste in music. Right, what do you want to go for? Shitty colour? Oh, no, we have to go for shitty colour because we need these ones up here. <laughs> Dorky was bad. Oh, no. <laughs> so. I'm not pissed, I'm not drunk. 
I'm fucking, I'm drinking Colesburg. I can't be drunk on this fucking piss water. This is all I can handle now. All oh, right, I didn't know that. Classics. I'll have to track that one down. What happened to popular music? It's shit. <laughs> That's what pop music is. Mainstream shit. <laughs> disco music. Oh my god. Disco music. Jim Brown. 100%. Well done, Stefano. RPM Blue Wedge. Eight track. Fucking hell. You loved it in the car. Bloody hell. I was a kid. I was a kid when I last saw eight track. What what was love like according to Ken Dodd's 1960s 1960s hit? Fucking H, I remember that was a kid. Bone and Manning farts. <laughs> you know, my nostalgia was cassettes. They were cassettes. You know, obviously for loading up games taping stuff off you know didn't do much radio stuff like that but you know recording your voice you know things like that recording stuff of, on a cassette so cassette to me was more of the most nostalgia to me CDs didn't have no nostalgia CDs never had a nostalgia for me obviously because it was expensive back in that like the 80s so I didn't, no one owned a, a CD player. So it was probably mainly records. Not for personally for me. I didn't own any records. But for me it's more cassettes. You had a CD player in 84. Bloody hell, you must be rich. Because <laughs> they were very expensive. No idea, I only know happiness by him. And the pirate. Pirate, yes! <laughs> Pirating, of course. Of course. I'm sure we all did it. My dad had an Amstrad double tape deck. <laughs> and of course I was going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I remember years ago, I remember when my dad brought home the first video recorder, a big Betamax. <laughs> Massive fucking thing. We got a video recorder, that was exciting enough. <laughs> Back in the way, very early 80s, that was. Okay, Grim Reaper, welcome back, mate. X Copy, yes. Um, I didn't use X Copy. I used this something else. I think it was Bamiga, Bamiga something. It was quite a good one. The V two thousand. Fucking hell. Okay, I didn't know nothing about. I've heard of them, but I never knew anything about the V two thousand. We got VHS in the very late eighties, actually. 
very late 80s knowing that we couldn't get nothing else on Betamax <laughs> so I think my dad decided right we need to go for VHS now <laughs> yeah we had a Betamax for a long quite quite a period of time now we can't get nothing on it <laughs> Even struggling to buy blank cassettes, you know, back in the early eight, in the early eighties, you could buy them. There was more, not a problem buying blank cassettes, but when it comes to the later eighties, then it became a struggle to buy blank cassettes. Video, I've heard of Video Plus, but I never, we never had Video Plus. I remember it though. Yeah, it probably was a myth. I heard people say the quality was better, but I don't know. It used to, s I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It used a more complicated mechanism. I know that it used to drag the tape. It used to drag the tape round like that. Uh, corner but VHS used to do that drag it out like that if you know what I mean where Betamax used to drag it out around the corner I opened, I opened up um, a Betamax years before I watched tell it te uh, what's that channel called T channel um, Technology Create Connections. Oh, it's a great channel. He was telling them about versions of um, difference between Betamax and VHS. But I've actually opened up a Betamax for a video recorder back in the day anyway, so I know how the mechanism works. I even replaced a belt because the belt drop, something to do with the belt, it wouldn't play because it wrapped the tape round, but it's replacing the belt I did. Just a little belt, one of nothing big. It was a quite an important belt. What's well, not the answer? Sorry. Yeah, well, the thing is, I never noticed any difference in quality. Is it Ken Dodd? Let's find out if it's Ken Dodd. A violin. <laughs> <laughs> and Windows 10. Point, what? 10.1? I don't know anything about Windows 10.1. Is that a new update? Is that an update? Fucking hell. I still have a video recorder. I have a combo. I have a combo. <coughs> I have a DVD recorder with a video recorder. And that's made by Dayhoo. <laughs> right, okay. That was for a wedge and all. Shit. We're not doing as well as what we did last week. <laughs> uh, might have to start bending the rules on this a bit because it's 9.30 right and we still need to get three wedges in the centre so I might start having to bend the rules a little bit here what doctor did Donald Pleasance portray in 1962 film of an Edwardian murder Dr. Crippins, well done classics, and well done Rachel. Oh, Red Wedge, still need the blue one though. You 
You did a video on it. Oh, check that one out. Who sang the theme for Champion the Wonder Horse? I can see that one classic, so I saw that one a mile off. Frankie Lane. Well done, Stefano. Another wedge, well done. Oh my god, some, some emails come up about fucking COVID. Right. Orange or silver screen? Silver screen? Hang on a minute, what the silver screen? Right, Robert says silver screen. Okay, sorry. Who played the part of Haley Mills' father in the family way? John Mills. Well done, Classics. Two uh, RPM or silver screen. Silver screen, okay. For piss, I know that. What film was set mainly in North Qu North North Key Secondary School, London? And I'll be right back. Okay. You can't hear me pissing, can you? Can you hear me pissing? Hope you can't. I've got all the doors shut. Right. What's going on? Ser seriously? <laughs> oh 
god. Seriously, I've got that door shut. My the bathroom door shut. <laughs> to stir with love under the scent. Stir with love. Well done. Well done, classics. Who else said that? All right. Let's just let's just uh, try and go for these wedges now. Right, blue wedge. Which James Harriet novel took its title from the second line of a popular hymn? Oh, uh, Texie. All creatures great and small. Well on Texie. That's another wedge. One more to get. Right, so we need the bl no the RPM wedge. So we need to go this way. RPM we need. What city did Henry Fonda order to be nuked in failsafe? <laughs> Don't worry, Rachel. Don't worry. None of us know what we're going on about. Moscow. No, New York. I know you was joking, David. <laughs> Right, grey. Two, we've already got it, but we need to go this way anyway. Okay. What TV duo was originally formed by Polly James and Neris Hughes? Well, Batman and Robin, was it? Liver birds, liver birds. What a Rachel! Liver birds. Oh, orange. Now we need the RPM. <laughs> right, what small? Exclusive British car company went out of business in 1974. Was that Jensen? Holy shit, RBP, you didn't have to do that. Thank you very much. 20 quid, 20 euros, 20 euros. Fucking, you didn't have to do that. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being me. I'm always me. I'm always me. I'll always will be me. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I always will be me. But thank, thanks for that. Thank you. You don't have to do this, but thank you. <laughs> More Carl's book, yes. <laughs> right. Um, Jensen. Yeah, you know the Jensen. Jensen in Intercept is the 70s car. Sort of like a sp sort of sporty car. Look. 
Google Google the Jensen Interceptor. I think it's J E N S E N. Jensen Interceptor. It's a seventies car. No, no, no. Oh, are we? <laughs> what are you drinking, Rachel? What are you drinking? What is everyone drinking? Yeah, splendid isolation dessert is Jensen Jensen the Sunbeam. Right. Yeah, what small British car company? Car was it a Sunbeam? A car was it a car? No, Mad Max. Mad Max. He drove uh, a. It was an Australian muscle car. It was a Ford Falcon. It was a. Conf it was a. It was a police interceptor. But what Mad Max drove was a Ford. It Ford Falcon. It was an Australian muscle car. What small if I like that car. I really like that car. You know, I like I liked um American muscle cars. So I like my muscle cars. Vimto. I haven't seen the film for ages. I've got I've got the Blu-ray box set. I've not even seen the new one. You know, it launched Bill Gibson's career. Not interested in PS2 after that. I don't know. I've got a, I've got a good computer here. I like it. It's. I've always been into certain gaming. You know, I've not been. A, I'm, I've never ever ever considered myself a die-hard gamer. I'm just a casual gamer. You know, there's certain games that I like. Of hence why I couldn't get into Doom. You know, I, was, I I never played it back in the day. I played it. I just think. Yeah, it's not for me. I'm more of a racing per. I like my racing games. You know, I do like all sorts of games, but you know, I got to like it. You know, I got to play. I play it. I try and like it, but if I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't know. I've never seen it. Yeah, I know it ain't gonna be the same. I haven't driven a car for about tw almost 20 years. Almost 20 years the last time I've driven a car. I've got a license, but I thought it was going to be this great thing, getting a license. I got got my license and drove, and I didn't think much of it. I fucking hate being in traffic jams. Shit. Ten years. The last car I drove, drove. The last car I had was a Rover. I had a Rover two one four. I think that was my last car I had. First car I ever owned was a old Mark One Astra. Estate. <laughs> Didn't enjoy it. I've not seen it. Now I don't. I don't know if I want to see it.
<laughs> I got it. I've actually got it on Blu-ray, but I've not seen it. Oh, you had a what? Original mini. You had the original mini. Yeah, the pass, parking's getting ridiculous, even round here. It's getting stupid where you can park. You know, it's getting stupid. Yeah, oh, you had the Spectrum conversion. Yeah, I had the Amstrad version back in the day. Bloody brilliant. Both versions were brilliant. You know, I had bloody awesome on the Amstrad. Uh, Lotus Turbo Challenge, I had all three of them on the Amiga, and including Jaguar XJ220, which, I'll be honest with you, I found Jaguar XJ220 better, for some reason. I like that. That was a great game. Yeah. Oh, the Mini was a classic. I've never driven a Mini. Never driven a, an original Mini. It wasn't as good. It could have been better on the Amiga, but it wasn't that good. I did review it on the Amiga. It wasn't that good. I think with the Amstrad and the Spectrum versions, they pushed it. They pushed it to the limit. Commodore 64 version was utter crap. I think they could have done better, but this is this is what annoys me about when people say the Commodore 64 can't do racing games. Yes, it can. It fucking well can. I played some amazing racing games on the Commodore 64. It can do racing games. They probably played hard driving. They probably played Chase HQ, which was utter shit. Because they were programmed crap, and probably people played people played them and said, "Oh, Commodore 64 can't do racing games." Yes, it fucking can. Yes, the Commodore 64 Turbo Outrun was awesome. It was, and including the first Outrun, it was shit on the Amstrad. It was sh both first. To outrun and turbo out one was shit on the Amstrad because it was just programmed badly. But it done Chase HQ so fucking well, and that was the best version in my opinion. Closely second by the Spectrum version because I had more, you know, I had more nostalgia for the Amstrad version. But the Spectrum version I've played and it's also pretty good. Yeah, it was absolutely buggy boy and the Commodore 64 was brilliant. See, I didn't know much about the Atari ST. It had MIDI, but it had the AY chip. It, the Atari ST had an AY chip like the Amstrad CPC and the Spectrum um, 1 to 8K, where the Amiga chip was fucking awesome. Yeah, he did, but what was the I just don't get it with the ST. Why did it have an AY chip? Why couldn't it could have been better? Anyway, we need to. Right, which British car? Let's just go for this. Jensen! I said that. Right, let's just go, let's try and what do we need to go for? Blue. 
one. Right, let's just go for it. So I'm getting tired now. Which liberal became a baby of the house when let's in 65? I don't know. Well, the thing is, I didn't get an Amiga till the early 90s. I didn't, you know, and I, you know, I saw, the reason why I got an Amiga was when I saw a mate of mine, and he played Formula 1 Grand Prix, and I saw that for the first time, I saw the graphics, I thought, right, I'm getting an Amiga, I'm getting an Amiga. That's why I got an Amiga, because I saw Formula 1 Grand Prix, I've got to get an Amiga. Nixon, David Steele. Right, uh, grey. Three, let's go for grey again. Five, oh, for fuck's sake, let's go for shitty colour. Who was the Rolling Stones' most versatile all-round musician? I paid £300 for a second-hand Atari, Atari Amiga 500. Brian John Jones and my Amiga 1200 I paid less money for brand new Bought a Spectrum for one pounds. Fucking hell! Ah, oh, my Amiga. The Amigas are. Oh, I've really enjoyed my. I liked all my computers. Oh fuck! What did I push? I pushed. Yeah, we got that one. I think. Yeah, Rachel was the earliest. Rachel was the earliest. Rachel was the. Rachel got, ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, all right, come on, let's just go for this. Which former president died suddenly in 1973, two days after Nixon's inauguration? Inauguration. Yeah, 87 that came out, the Amiga 500. But the Amiga came out in 85, didn't it? With the, uh, the original Amiga. But it was overpriced. Yeah, we're not, we don't do spot on stuff on this channel, you know. I'll probably overrun a little bit. Right, well done, Stefano. You know, you know me by now. I don't do spot on. My timing is never spot on. <coughs> Shitty car. I do apologise for that. What pop star married Angie Barnett in March 1970? Mick Jagger, David Bowie. Oh, Stefano got that one. Come on. 
I am straight How are you doing, mate? I'm fine, thank you. Who was Marilyn Monroe's last husband? Amstrado is a big Amstrad fan. Hence, is that hence the name Amstrado? Half a minute, well done. Classic, send um, Stefano. Gary Glitter. Oh my god. Blue has to be. Which BBC football commentator wrote 1962's Book of the World of Soccer? Jimmy Hill in the chin. <laughs> Is it Jimmy? Jimmy Hill? No. Silver screen, fuck it. <laughs> he debuted as the ball factory worker in Saturday night and Sunday morning. I'm getting fucking fed up with people fucking sending me shit about COVID-19 email. Albert Finley. Well done, Stefano. Orange. What African country, country became independent of Britain in 6, 6th of October 1962? Send them a... <laughs> <coughs> Corona, you know, coronavirus, coronavirus. Nigeria, no Uganda. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh about that. Two fucking blue. It's not no. Back in the back when I did that, you know, I didn't. I didn't take it too seriously when I did that. I didn't take it too seriously. What book left Ben Gunn high and dry? No, there won't be no hangman tonight. Treasure Island. This game's taken longer than I expected. I'm getting quite tired. Roll, we can go for it. We can go for it. Who's breaking up is hard to do was his last top 10 in the 60s. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tired. No, it won't be <laughs> Rod Stewart. You know, I'm going for... It's Paul Wanker. Paul yeah, yeah, yeah. Neil Stewart, yeah, fuck it. I'm bending the rules now. I'm bending the rules. I'm bending. Ah, oh, Stefano got it. Stefano got it. And so did RBP. I'm bending the rules now. 
and we can go through the middle. We can go through the middle. Silver screen. Okay. Who played the photographer Thomas in Blow Up? Never had this question before. David Hemmings, 100%. Classics has got it. Well done, Classics. You've won us the game. You've won us the game. I did bend the rules there. I did bend the rules there a bit on that last wedge. <laughs> but well done. There'll be no um, no no word hang tonight. Right. Okay. Too late. Good night. Okay, Amstrado, take care of yourself, mate. I'm not replying to music. I'm not. No, I can. Why didn't you do the dance? You can do the dance. I can do it again. I'm not doing it. I know you're not on the camera. You, that doesn't matter to you because you're not on the camera. I've already done it once. Come on. I've already done it once. Look at how it's not a lot you can get from me. <laughs> Remember that Nova Bug is streaming. I'm I'm sure Nova Bug is streaming. So, it's still in treat for other streams. What's, oh, Rachel! I want to see you do it. I want to see you do it. <laughs> it was. I have to find the ROM. I have to find the ROM for it. I'll try and find the. Oh, remind me. I'll try and find the ROM. Or just send me the ROM. Or I don't know. Send me the link to the ROM, and I'll get it. Go on, Rachel. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Anyway. <laughs> it's been... I know... I'm oh, spitting. Fucking hell, I'm spitting everywhere now. <laughs> it's... I'm not fucking playing Stroker, that will never happen. I'm not playing Stroker on my stream. That will never ever happen. I've reviewed it only because I had to review it. I had a reason to review it because of the Commodore 64 Facebook group on, on Facebook. Yeah, the Commodore 64 Facebook group because they all got kicked out because I was speaking the truth they kicked me out so I thought I would do Stroker dedicated to them that's why I did it 
I finally reviewed Stroker just to dedicate it to the Commodore 64 1 8 Facebook group. Alright, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in Discord or something like that. Don't worry about it, Grim Reaper. We'll we'll, we'll chat about it. We'll chat about it. You know. Right, I'm off now, guys and girls. Thank you so much for coming on. Always a pleasure as usual. Thank you for the. Thank you, RBP, for the um, 20, 20 euros. Don't have to do that, but thank you anyway. You know, you don't have to donate money to me, you know. It's up to you at the end of the day. I don't promote that, you know. But thank you anyway. Always appreciated. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Good stream. Apart from the little dramas that we've had tonight, but don't worry about that. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you. Should be next week. Take care. Goodbye.